you like me to tell you the little story of right hand, left hand? The story of good and evil. In 1931, a woman and her three young children left their home in Chicago en route to a new life with a man who promised a home, affection, and security. She had written to him through a Lovelorn column or something, the way I, the way they got acquainted, the way I understood it. I guess he beat him to death some way. Just like you would today hear about murder, you would be concerned why he did it. At that point in time, that was probably one of the biggest things that had happened right there at the start of depression, and, and people were very, everybody was very upset about it. They was getting worked up about uh, possibly having a, a lynching there at, uh, at the jail. Lynch him! Lynch him, Bluebeard! You, you wouldn't think that people would act that way, but they did. They charged 25 cents for adults and 15 cents for children. At that time, they used the term amusement park and, uh, for their murder for the House of Horrors. This is a story that transfixed an entire nation for months. I think the press recognized the opportunity that had kind of fallen into their laps almost immediately. Powers is going to be portrayed in a certain way regardless of whether or not it's an accurate representation, but he's going to be portrayed in a way that's going to sell the most papers. A story that came to be immortalized in a classic Hollywood film, Night of the Hunter. Davis Scrub loosely based Night of the Hunter on Harry Powers' story. And of course, Davis's Harry Powers was a preacher, but the real Harry Powers was a sweeper salesman in quiet day. The same thing that Powers represented in life was the things that Grubb was trying to fight. Uh, corrupt religion and uh, unbridled greed. And how that results sometimes in, in violence that doesn't make any sense. Just kind of a circus sort of an atmosphere, you know. They talked about people crashing into the, it's going to be, oh, they're going to have a big murder trial down at uh, Moore's Opera House. At the Opera House, which is being used because of the large seating capacity, workmen were hammering together the props for the drama of life and death. These trials, you know, do become forms of theater, uh, and they're turned into a theater by the media, you know, that have all these elements, you know, that people love, you know, having to do, obviously, with a battle between good and evil. Uh, here we have a Harm Drenth and a Sheriff Grimm and a Judge Southern, and it goes on and on. Murder is always a community event. We all feel implicated when um, a crime of the magnitude of a series of murders is brought to light because we're reminded of our connections to each other and in some cases we're reminded by a lack of connection with each other. The newspaper screamed, Romeo must hang. Rest assured, he did. Hot dog loves doing it. Yes, sir. It's love that won, and old left hand hate is down for the count.